Get ready, get ready for this pipe and hot tea. Get ready, get ready for a tea time and filter with your girl loving tea. Spilling all this hot tea on this podcast street. So get ready, get ready for this pipe and hot tea. From tea time and filter with your girl loving tea. Hey, tea sippers. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely Tea. And I got my girl, Emily, in the house. And today is Emily's birthday. So happy birthday to you, Emily. Thank you for joining me tonight. Oh, thank you. Shout out to all the Libras. Man, it is for real Libra season. First, my son, who turned 17. Shout out to him on the 7th. Um, Then I just flew back from L.A. from Cardi B's birthday party. She's a Libra. And then today's your birthday. So... I am literally surrounded by nothing but Libra energy, and I love it. Yeah, Libras and Leos get along really well. But, you know, Libras, we're cool. We're real chill. Ashanti's birthday is today, too. Me and her have the same birthday. Okay, that's what's up. Yeah, Libras are the scale. And I know one thing about you three. Y'all like things to be fair. And, like, y'all really look out for other people. Because I know that was one thing about my son that I noticed early on. Mm -hmm. Like, Let's say if I'm at the store and he's with me and I get him like, I'm like, oh, pick out a snack or, you know, get some candy or get a toy. The first thing he says is, "Um, what can I grab Toshan or should I get Sean something too? Or can Toshan get one? Like he always thinks about his brother, his big brother. So that's that's when I always, yeah, I always notice that. Like now if I take the big brother, if it's me and the big brother shopping and I'm like, oh, get some, he just going to grab his snack and keep pushing. (laughs) That's that's my brother. He's a Virgo though. He's so sweet, but (laughs) Yeah, you know, my oldest is a Capricorn. Yeah, I okay. said, uh huh, a goat. Mm-hmm. Well, so. we always like to look at things from different angles, you know. So a lot of people think we're always agreeing with somebody, but we always like to look at things from every side of the spectrum. Yeah, yeah. Now I get along great with Libra, so I was like super excited when you told me to were a Libra, and yes. I'm gonna mail out your card. I have your card all picked out. It's upstairs. Aww, thank you. So, you will be getting it by this weekend. Thank All right. You. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> so there is so much tea going on. I've been trying to catch up and keep up with everything, you know, all the while trying to enjoy my vacation as well. But we got to talk about this Charleston White situation. I don't know if it's going to come to an end, but he is not letting his foot off of T.I.'s neck or his son's neck. Now, if you guys don't know, T.I. is in his feelings, honey. He done took to Instagram and made not one but two posts where he feels, you know, you could tell he's very hurt. He's very somber. Mm -hmm. And he says that he's really upset because the people that he trusted the most, the folks that he's looked out for, it seems like now that he's getting into it with Charleston White, people are sharing the video. Nobody's condemning Charleston. You know, nobody's having T.I.'s back. And he definitely feels a way because... One thing about T.I. is that he's always involving himself in other people's situations. Case in point, I believe it was last week or the week before, DJ Academics was kind of going in on Regine because, you know, she went from dating a thug, you know, YFN Lucci, and now she's dating Mm -hmm. some square dude, and they're making all these, you know, TikTok lovey-dovey videos. And DJ Academics (laughs) was like, you know, it's funny how, you know, when she needed clout and when she wanted to be with a bad boy, she was there for him. You couldn't tell her nothing. And now that shit got real, now she's messing with a square. Then he almost called her a bitch, and then he caught himself. So I remember Toya, like, went off on social media. It was like, keep my daughter's name out your mouth, woo-woo-woo. And I think, you know, as a parent, yeah, you will come to your child's defense. And so I understood Toya for jumping in. But then it was like, here comes T.I. You know, he came running with the cape and, you know, was wanting to check DJ academics. They have to have a phone conversation. And my thing is, if little Wayne isn't even doing all that, why are you going out your way? You know, I just I was like, thinking. yeah, it's like he wants to insert himself in everything. And if you do, that's your business, right? He has a, you know, he has a right to, if he wants to, but then you can't put, you, you can't expect yourself and other people. Right. And I had to learn that the hard way myself. Like, I always feel like I do things for people and then I get my feelings hurt when it's not reciprocated. Well, I need to stop looking for myself and other people. People are just people. So if you want to run around and be the, you know, the superhero of hip hop, you know, putting out all these stupid online fires, that's your business. But that doesn't mean that everybody else is entitled, you know, to do that for you once you get into it, you know, with Charleston White. So let's go ahead and play the video. 
um, of T.I. and what he had to say, and then we'll come back and talk about it. First off, man, I just want to say thank you. Um, thank you to all the people who've been reaching out um, and showing love, support, respect for my family. I appreciate that. Uh, it don't go unnoticed. Um, thank you to Steven Jackson. Thank you to Minister Farrakhan. Uh, thank you to the entire nation of Islam. Thank you to my sister Hannah, my brother Clay, my brother KP, uh, my brother Bell. Um, thank you to uh, Director Dion Taylor. Thank you to Ronnie Joy and the Ha Ha Mafia. Uh, man, thank you to anybody like this. Like, bro, so I'm being attacked by the enemy. I'm being attacked by the enemy. And they're using my weakness. You know what I'm saying? The weakness is social media. You know, somebody attack you on social media, it removes your ability to respond back to it because that only fans the flames and makes it, you know, but, 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 but it is still an attack, okay? And this is not the first time that I've been attacked in this manner and couldn't say anything, couldn't do anything. And I just watched everybody sit and didn't say nothing. Uh, thank you to brother Kalanji. Thank you to brother Kalanji. I, I reposted, uh, you know, his his comments. And so thank you, thank you. Thank you to the water boys. Um, <laughs> I appreciate, I appreciate y'all. So, so, so the hurt don't come from the enemy. You expect the enemy to attack. The hurt don't come from the enemy. The words of the enemy don't hurt me. The silence of the people that I've supported for 20 years, when they ain't got nothing, the silence of the community, like the, 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 the way the community, or to watch the community participate, laugh, like, share, and have nothing to say on behalf of a family that has been there to support whatever was right Whatever cause was just and righteous. For over 20 years, we've been there. And, and just to watch, nobody had nothing to say for for someone who ain't did nothing for nobody but shuck and jive. Um, that's, that's hurtful. It, it, it was hurtful. And I understand I'm a person who's strong. And I understand that I'm a leader. I understand that I'm a celebrity. I understand Heavy is the head of he who wears the crown. I do understand. I understand that most times people don't even understand. They don't even know when I need support. They can't see it with their eyes. I get that. But now I'm telling you. My hands being held behind my back. I'm in the middle of the street about to get kicked in the face. My family being threatened. Our children being threatened. What are the people who I've been standing up for for 20 years going to do on our behalf? I'm not causing for, I'm not calling for violence because that's not necessary. I don't think we can hurt anybody. I don't think we can hurt this person physically as much as life has already hurt them. And we'll continue to hurt them because the energy you put out is the energy you will receive. Man, I just want to see the community at large stand up in opposition of this council this is a council this is not entertainment this is not comedy this is council okay and for somebody to say they're gonna shoot my son in the throat like trayvon martin to even let them play with the family the names of the family of, of little bro trayvon martin to even let that go down the community should be outraged so i'm not going to do anything I'm just going to sit back and see what the community going to do on behalf of my family because my family has always been there for the community. All right. So you just heard what T.I. had to say. So he is clearly upset. He's in his feelings. He feels like, you know, he has supported so many in the community and now he's not seeing that same support and he feels like Charleston White is a cancer so what do you feel about the situation? Look, T.I. is, I feel like, a textbook exa uh, example of a narcissist. So I feel like he's gaslighting right now. And like mm. you spoke on earlier, he always is inserting himself in other people's business. 
but I feel like it's more self-serving. I don't feel like he's always, obviously when it comes to his kids, yeah, you're going to take up for your kids. And I, I understand that. But a lot of times I think when he inserts himself in other people's business, he just wants to be part of the conversation. So when he's talking about Charleston White, I think he's really sh like striking a chord with him because he's not coming with that whole, you know, like tough shit talk right now. Or usually T.I.'s, oh, I'm rich, you're poor, you ain't shit. His mm -hmm. whole demeanor is changing. He's like, oh, he's a cancer. I've got my hands tied behind my back and just a bunch of bullshit. Like, it sounds like the bully who's finally getting bullied. Yeah, it's very interesting to see T.I. in this particular position because usually... You know, the other day he was talking very tough and now, you know, you'll, you'll taste my shoelace up your ass and this and that. But I don't think he was, I don't think he thought Charleston White was going to go as low as he did. Now, let me say this. I do not agree with the Trayvon Martin reference. I don't think in any way, shape or form, it's okay to threaten to kill a child or even speak that into the, you know what I'm saying, to the environment. So right. I didn't like that because Trayvon Martin, you know, that whole case is just sad in itself. That was a young person who lost their life for no reason at all. He was basically defending himself and Zimmerman shot him. So I didn't like that reference. But I think too, though, I, I have to keep it real. I find it very rich that he's upset at the community for not stepping up and, you know, having him and his family's back. I've heard quite a few people say that they didn't like the Trayvon reference, you know, the Trayvon Martin reference, but they agreed with a lot of what Charleston White was saying about King. Now, what I don't understand is this is the same child who went into a Waffle House, right? Most people who work in the Waffle House, these are regular people in the community. King threatened to pistol whip an employee of the Waffle House who simply told him to quiet down and stop all that cussing. And why was he cussing? Because they put pickles on his sandwich. He wanted to show out for social media. He then was talking about the, the one man's mother. Um, then he was also saying that he makes, he has more money in his pocket right now mm -hmm. than they make in a whole year. So I think T.I. needs to understand the reason why people aren't running with capes to protect your son is because unfortunately your son is being seen as an entitled brat. And yeah, it's not the first time. Yo, what's up? Hey, tea sippers to listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.